YouTube Shikwin Shinobi here with an unboxing of the Pokemon Training Card Game XY Fates Collide Dollar Tree Booster Packs. We got 40 of them here because that's just generally the number I shoot for when I'm doing these Dollar Tree things. For those of you that don't know or haven't seen my previous three Dollar Tree videos, uh, these are three card booster packs that are available for a dollar at local Dollar Tree dollar stores. There's a lot of dollars in that sentence. Um, but for a dollar, you get three cards, and they're a common and uncommon and a question mark. You don't know what that question mark is. It could be another common, another uncommon, a rare, a hollow, a reverse hollow, a EX, a full art, a break, you don't know. So that's kind of what the mystery is of these things. So we did pretty good in the last one, the packs that my girlfriend picked up for me. She saw these today when she was at the dollar store and was like, hey, they got Fates Collide finally. So I'm like, all right, let's get some. So we are here with 40 of these packs. Let's just go ahead and jump right in and see what we got. This was a completely fresh case um, from what I gather. I didn't sit there and count every single pack, but... There was well over a hundred packs uh, in there. Oh, Moltres, we got a rare uh, right off the bat. Bat, bat. I almost hit back. Uh, what are we advertising this time? Nothing too cool. All right, so as always, I do have some sleeves here to uh, sleeve up the hollows that we might happen to get. Nothing cool in this pack. This will be a pretty brisk pack opening. Um, I, I don't sit there and kind of try to card trick these packs or anything like that because that's just sort of uh, silly. As for stuff I'm looking for, I don't really know. I don't really need a whole lot from Fates Clyde because I've opened so much of it. Um, carving Brink. Brink? I can't talk tonight. It's really late and I'm tired. <laughs> um, but Carbing Break is probably one of, if not the only, major card I'm looking for. But we will see. So, surprisingly enough, we haven't really gotten any Reverse Hollows yet. Um, they're usually pretty easy to get in these Dollar Tree packs. But alas, we have not yet. We have gotten some rares though, so that's pretty cool. But Barbaracle is actually really interesting. Um, it's hand block attack that will prevent attachment of special energy cards if you have a uh, stadium in play. It is pretty cool and definitely detrimental to those uh, Night March decks and stuff. So, Watch this be like a fresh case and I just picked out all of the awful packs. In which case, I would probably go there and buy the rest of the packs. <laughs> so nothing too thrilling as of yet, but uh, we are technically just getting started. So we shall see. Yep, definitely nothing nothing good so far. Uh, and I'm also even thinking, oh, this is a waste of money. And I, at the core, it probably is, but... Uh, I mean, the last one that I opened, I opened probably around 50 packs. They were a split between Breakpoint, and there's another Moltres, uh, and Breakthrough. And we actually got some pretty good cards. We got Darkrai, we got a Greninja Break, um, we got some full arts. So, the possibility of getting good stuff is definitely there. We've proven that. But, we have not quite hit that yet in these which is most definitely unfortunate. I'm going to move these sleeves over here. Bring that pile up here. Because I am accumulating a giant trash pile to the left of me. So, Man, these are not being good to us at all. Got another rare. We're getting a lot of rares which um, isn't that bad. Now, there's only five uh, hollows in this set, so our chances of getting hollows is actually pretty low, but um, I'm hoping for at least one good card at some point. I think we've gotten this exact same pack before. So now it's, now it's becoming the yokai medals of 
Dollar Tree. <laughs> There's another Bronzor. But this time, no oh, double colors energy. That's not too bad. I don't have a whole lot of uh, that new pink design. Which is pretty cool. Especially if you're running like a fairy type deck or something. Ooh, a reverse Zygarde. We finally got a reverse Hollow. I was wondering when that was going to happen. If you watch my previous videos, you generally pull reverse Hollows. I'm going to set that aside. Generally uh, pull reverse Hollows left and right, but we have not been getting them uh, so far in these. So that is definitely a little bit of a surprise. Because the pull of these were generally, to me anyway, uh, for reverse hollow collectors. Because I was getting reverse hollows all the time in previous packs. And so it's kind of like a, for a dollar you get a reverse hollow and two other cards for the most part. And so it was kind of worth it for reverse hollow collectors. But um, as of right now, we've only gotten the one. And we don't have a whole lot left. Yeah, we're probably about halfway through or so, give or take. A Reverse Chaos Tower. And I actually kind of want to highlight this card real quick. Not because of the effect of the card, but because the Reverse Hollow is very, very pretty on it. It's almost like an actual holographic uh, version of the card. So I, I love the the Hollow effect on the, those dual stadiums that they got going on now. So that is definitely really nice. So we're up to two Reverse Hollows, which again isn't fantastic given our other pulls. Last is special. You're a good card. Not. Seriously, it's not a good card. Mm. Yeah, get off. Kabuto, Seal, Fennekin. We are getting nowhere. Unless like the, the bottom portion of the stack is just like filled with EXs. I dare say that this hunt was an absolute dud. So then you make the question, oh, Rotom, another rare. You make the question, oh, should I go get more packs? Because those ones must be the ones with all the good cards in it. But are they? Are they really? I don't know. At this rate, probably not. The whole box might have been a dud. Mega Catcher? That Meowth is so nasty looking, like just looking at me is like, I'm gonna kill you. Nah. I don't that's not what Meowth sounds like at all, but whatever it is, what it is. I'm just trying to find vague ways to amuse me as I'm opening up these packs, because they're not giving me anything to work with. <laughs> I'm not even like getting good cards to talk about. There's the Zygarde's normal form that we got the reverse of. I'm gonna clean this up just a smidge. <laughs> Cause it keeps falling over on me. Alright. There is pack. Sparkly pack residue. <laughs> All over the place. I keep catching a glimpse of it. There's a normal Chaos Tower. I keep catching a glimpse of it thinking that might be a good card, but no, it's just foily pack residue. So currently this is a absolute regret. I regret everything about this video. Because even if we get, at, at this point, even if we get like two EXs, it still wasn't worth the money. <laughs> But alas, that is what happens when you are gambling with these. Ooh, a Lucario. So we did actually get a hollow. So that's kind of cool. It's not one I need, because I got a lot of copies of those hollows now. A Mew would have been really nice. But we, we got something good-ish, at the very least. More bent spoons. <laughs> Um, yeah, we are down to one, two, three, four, five, six. We are down to six of these packs. Another Chaos Tower. We've gotten one holographic, two reverse hollows, and a good old stack of commons. Alakazam Spearling. So like I said, even if we get one EX, like, this didn't pan out in terms of... Like, getting some good stuff. 
It's a reverse binacle. Man, this these are awful, like abysmal. Reuniclus. Reuniclus is a pretty interesting card. It's a shame that it didn't really take off because it's just too difficult to get powered up. But this is a fun little mechanic there. A very fighting type pack, if I do say so myself. And the last pack is a Carbink. Reuniclus and a bent spoon. So that is that. I didn't even need to bring the sleeves because this Lucario is not worth sleeving. So, yeah, for 40 bucks, we got a Lucario, three reverse hollows, and a big wad of commons and uncommons that we don't really need. So, yeah, this was 40 bucks wasted <laughs> for sure. But I hope you enjoyed it. You enjoyed watching me open these useless Dollar Tree packs. Um, but like I said, I will link right here to the uh, Breakpoint one, the last Breakpoint one I did, because there was some stellar pulls in those Breakthrough and Breakpoint packs. Um, and that was what I was hoping for with uh, this. But alas, that did not happen. Like I said, it was a completely fresh box from what I imagine. Uh, so I either just got really got the short end of the stick of that box... Or, I don't I don't know what happened at all whatsoever, but we, we'll see. I might go get more packs out of there. I don't know if it's even worth it anymore. Like I said, I really only need some carving break. I really only need like one, so I should just go buy it. But anyhow, I've rambled enough for the end of this video. I am sorry we did not get anything good whatsoever, but that is the thrill of the hunt, I suppose. So... As, like I said, you can get these at your local Dollar Tree, um, and do check out that Breakpoint one if you did not, because it shows the power of these Dollar Tree packs if you get good pulls, which we absolutely did not this time. But that about does it for this unboxing. If you like it, go ahead and blast that like button, comment below, and subscribe for more. So as always, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.